Hello everyone, it's Jared Robinson, the PE Geek here, and I'm really excited to take you through this webinar training related to using video delay tools such as ReplayIt on the Google Chrome browser to create some instant feedback. Now, this is a brand new possibility. Previously, it's been something that you could only really do in Android devices or on iOS, iPad devices, etc. But now, we've made it possible so that Video delay feedback is something that you can do on any laptop or Chromebook that runs Google Chrome, which obviously is a lot of devices. So this training will take you through sort of just how it works, how to get set up, and more importantly, the sort of things that you can do to use it in your PE classroom so that you can roll it out and feel comfortable that you're getting some value. But before we get there, a little bit of background. If you're coming here for the first time, I run a website called thepeergeek.com and it's a place where I blog about all the things that are happening in technology and phys ed. And it, is, it has been something that I've done since 2008. And I absolutely love doing it. I love sharing what's happening with technology and phys ed, hence this webinar and hence all the stuff that we do through social media. I also get the chance to work around the globe helping train teachers on using technology in their practice. And a really big part of those workshops is surrounding how to use tools such as video delay in PE practical classrooms. But that's sort of represent a little bit of a problem across the way too, because most of the tools that we talk about are mobile based. And obviously mobile is a massively powerful tool in the PE realm, but there are still schools that um, only have access to traditional laptops or Chromebooks. And for the most part, there's been a lack of opportunities for those sorts of tools. So having seen all the stuff that's happening around the globe in over 30 something countries, I've come up with quite a few different insights into what sorts of tools are needed. And we definitely have hit the mark with the, the tool that we're gonna be talking about today. As a result, you, you may already know that I do build some of the apps, and in particular, the app that we're gonna be talking about today is one of mine. It is a free Google Chrome-based app. Um, however, I do also build apps for uh, places, you know, iPhone, iPad, Android, etc., and I also build web apps. And today's example is a web app, and it works only on Google Chrome. But first and foremost, I do work from the following school and everything that I have done and spoken about and, and gained experience with has been tested and used in my own practice as part of my role as a secondary and a high school teacher. And I absolutely love packaging that up, sharing it on my website, flying around the world and working with teachers to help them experience the same things. Now, I really want to introduce you to the new tool called Replay It. Now, Replay It is, as I mentioned, a Google Chrome-based replay or video feedback tool, and it's the first of its kind. And I sort of briefly alluded to why we built it earlier before, but to give you a little bit of an overview, this is essentially what it is. It's really minimal. Basically, you open the free app, which you download from the Chrome Web Store, and you get the ability to set a delay value of whatever time period you like in seconds, you select your webcam and hit start, and then you perform whatever skill you like, and the app time delays that actual feed to your laptop so that you get a chance to perform the skill and then get back to your device to review it, and it creates this beautiful feedback opportunity, which we're going to dive into quite extensively in this training. So with a little bit of insight there, I want to sort of share you know, a little bit of background. You know, Is this type of technology even new? Is it new? Is it something that you know we've been able to do for a while? And I have mentioned it a little bit, but no, it's not. I mean, here is a few years ago. You know, this is something that I did back in 2008. You could see here all the equipment I needed to make it happen. I had to have cameras and laptops and cords and this, that, and the other. And what essentially all of that stuff enabled me to do was to create a 10-second replay so that the camera feed was being time shifted and then they could come and watch the actual 10 second replay on the laptop. That was in 2008. That cost around about $2,000 and took over 30 minutes to set up. And the tool that we're talking about, Replay It, um, is free. You can use it. It's available on 
Chrome devices, so that represents an enormous amount of the world and enormous amount of laptops and Chromebooks, etc. And it doesn't take anywhere <laughs> anywhere more than about 20 seconds to set up and use in your PE practice. So to answer the question, it's not new. Video feedback is not something that's new. It is available. There it is right there from 2008. But we have certainly come a long way. And, you know, part of it is because of just think about some of the tools we used back in the day. I mean, that was around about that time from that video, a little bit earlier. This is sort of more 1990s. But um, you can still see that back then and even in the video I just showed you, I had to use a web, I mean, an actual camera, which only was a camera. It didn't have any other function. And, and that was very much a part of what technology from the previous era was. It was all one item that did one thing. And if you look at all these here, they all did one thing. You know, you had the camera there, it did one thing. You had the, you have the um, phone there, it did one thing. And it was no surprise that these things were really hard to use. They were expensive. They never found their way into practice. And you contrast that to sort of now. I mean, this is the only tool you need to be able to do all the stuff that was listed, um, you know, back here and more. And it's all you really need to be able to use the replay it. Chrome app, which we're going to be talking about. So, uh, you know, it's very simple school that has Chromebooks or whether you've got a Mac and you just installed the Chrome browser or whether you've got a Windows PC and you've installed the Chrome browser, you're going to be able to use the Replay at Chrome app for video feedback. So I look at where we've come from and where we are now and think, wow, I mean, there's no wonder it was not being used back then. And, you know, the opportunities now are really extraordinary. So my first question is, you know, that I want to share with you is why build it for Google Chrome? You can probably see why. And the real reason is this. I mean, this is the world um, wide browser market share. If you have a look at that, this is not even current data either. But at this point of time, it was over 40% of users were using Chrome browsers. Obviously, it's continued and Chrome is literally engulfing the planet when it comes to utilizing or more users operating. So the tool that we've just built essentially operates that zone of 42.74% of the world or more that can use it for free. So we, if we really believe that video feedback is something that everyone can benefit from in a sport context or a PE context, then we've just made it the most possible availability to everyone by putting it on Chrome. So that's one reason. The other reason is that you know if you ever follow along educational technology, Chromebooks are absolutely being so heavily invested in schools. You know, iPads for a long time were the thing of choice and still very much are. And I mean, I, most of my training is related to the use of tablets. But there's no, no sort of ignoring the fact that Chromebooks really are starting to become something that's really well used in schools. And they've just for the first year been or had more sales with Chromebooks in the US in education than there was Mac or iPad equivalent. So there's something to pay attention to. Another reason why we feel that building this tool for for Chromebooks is something that everyone can benefit from. So at this point, the, the first logical question is, you know, is replay it complicated? It's got to be, you know, surely it's had a look at that previous example where you had cameras and this, that and the other. I mean, obviously, this has to be hard to use. And I'm really happy to say that it, it isn't. It is so easy. There's really nothing to do besides install the app and get using it. So, I mean, I'm just going to guide you through the steps to point it out. But once you've installed the free app, which you can get at the Chrome Web Store, you'll see it creates a nice little icon for you to download. And you just simply click it and open it. It'll open a new window that looks like this. You simply go to the top right and you select your webcam source. So the web camera on your laptop or your Chromebook, or if you're externally connecting a camera, then you select that. And then the next step is to select the delay value that you want in seconds. So by default, it'll probably be sitting at one second, but you can change it to three seconds or five or 10 or 20. And then what happens as soon as you hit start, the video that's playing will be played to you with that delay. So in this example, if the person jumped over the, the high jump bar and it was set to a 20 second delay, that would give her time to get off the mat, walk back to where the laptop was or the Chromebook was and be able to watch it. And you can see here how powerful that would become for a teaching opportunity. 
So how do you use it in PE? This is obviously the really powerful thing and the point of this training. And besides from showing you how easy it is, which I think you'll agree it, it definitely is, but here's, here's four really solid examples of um, how I see video delays being used in PE, and they're definitely appropriate for this Chrome-based environment, which we're talking about now. Walk you through how to use the Replay It Chrome app inside of just one activity that you may do as part of your PE program. So you can see looking at this, we have a high jump set up and we've got some students there. They might be doing some practice or some training or it might be part of a class. But either way, you can use the tool to create these nice little feedback loops which would be useful for lots of different contexts. So imagine this, you've got a student here who's assembled and they're about to embark on um, their first jump, so they go ahead and they complete it, and you know it's a nice success. And then what they then do is make their way back to here, and the replay it app has been set up to, for around about a 10 to 15 second replay delay, so that by the time they get back to the I or to the um, laptop that's running the replay it app, they are able to see their performance. And while this is all happening. The second person has gone and completed their jump. And then what happens here is the student will, um, who's, who's reviewed theirs, they move to the end of the line. Number two makes their way to this spot. And meanwhile, number three has completed their jump. Now, the, all the while, these students are getting this feedback that's happening right here during their waiting time which minimizes the amount of time that they're just spent sort of standing here waiting for the next jump and also maximizing the coaching inputs or the different teaching elements that are taking place during their session so that's one idea for using the replay it chrome app on your laptop or chromebook inside of the teaching of a high jump activity so you can see from this example too that you could easily replace that high jump bag with any sort of discrete skill i mean they don't necessarily have to be doing high jump you could set up um, a spot where they're doing a free throw and they complete the free throw and then roll back to see the actual performance on the on the chromebook with a laptop or maybe they're doing a triple jump or maybe they're doing any skill that you teach in your pe program create a station create this feedback loop rotation where you can get multiple sort of opportunities to review it now the thing that's not mentioned in the video is you could very easily, without a doubt, put a second device in a different position so that when they land, they go to the first device, which might be sort of sitting over here, and then they, they go to the second device and they could watch back from two different angles. And because it's a free tool and it's available on literally any laptop and Chromebook, you could easily have every kid in the class putting replays out and um, you know, experimenting from different angles. So there's one example. The next example I really want to share with you is um, the teaching of discrete skills a little bit more clearly in a swimming example. Now, another example where I've seen replay it and video delays work really well is in something like swimming or track and field starts and the teaching of these. So imagine, you can see here the picture, but imagine you've got this set up nicely. It's away from the water and it's pointing towards the sprint block starts. Well, it wouldn't be very difficult for you and your students to practice their dives. So, you know, they could do so, they could jump into the water, they could even probably swim the whole lap, depending on how much delay you applied, and get out, and then they could make their way back to this point and actually review their performance. Easy, could repeat the process, they could dive in, they could get back out, and they could keep repeating that getting some critical feedback of their actual dive entries. And I've seen this work in a number of schools and they've even gone the length of actually producing and making a permanent sort of large screen display on the side of the pool so that the kids, once they dive into the water, can actually watch the replay while they're still in the water and reviewing. And then they get out and they complete their dive entry and then they again come to the side and watch the screen to see what's happening. All of this from the Replay at Chrome app. 
So in that example there, I, I mentioned the fact in the use of a large screen. Now, obviously this is a swimming example. Swimming's not part of everyone's program, but the basic core of how this activity is structured applies to so many activities. So the addition of the screen means that they don't necessarily even have to get back to the laptop to review the performance because the performance is going to be shared up onto the large screen, which means that they don't have an, even have to move. They can be in the spot where the activity is performed and review it and then continue that and sort of get through more. So we'll talk a little bit at the end about how you can share it to a large screen, but there are a lot of opportunities. The next example I want to share with you is a little bit different and um, also something that I really value video delay for. Now, another one of my favorite ways to use a video replay is with injured students or students who, for whatever reason, may not be able to participate, and you're playing some sort of game and you want to have third umpire referee type decisions. So imagine you've got the Replay Chrome app sitting here and it's pointed towards home base or any other spot where important decisions may take place in any games. It could be the lines of your basketball court, it could be the side of the net and tenant, like anything where it would pay to be able to watch something over and over. So imagine this scenario here that you know our student um, bats the ball and, and they, they head off this student's running in and all of a sudden you know the ball's been returned and you're not quite sure whether or not he got home safely well very easy for uh, you the teacher to come in and speak with the, the student who's injured and ask them you know how did watch the replay and see it over and over and make that call accurately because you've got the availability of that technology so a really simple way to introduce a third umpire into your PE classroom but I think the coolest part is it could be part of like a sports education unit or sport you know sports CPEP unit where students are given various roles of umpiring coaching and one of those roles could be the video crew. So another example there of taking this video delay concept and adding it into a different curriculum delivery in, in a sports education unit where kids have roles or if you've got an injured kid and they can't participate, well, there's a great way to get them involved. Rather than just sitting over there, they could be involved in the, the rules or giving feedback to peers. Um, the opportunities are really quite endless for this video referee thing. And the other part that I really enjoy about this is the kids get a real buzz whenever there's a moment where we have to go to like the video referee if we're playing a game. And um, it just sort of adds a whole new dynamic of excitement to their class. So one last little example of this in action is in different category all again and um, something I use quite a lot with re replays. One of the cool parts about video delay apps such as Replay it, is that it enables for feedback to be given to either the person who's performing or other people and it's all quite hands-free. So imagine in this scenario where a student is performing a layup you know, they do exactly that and meanwhile there is a student over here who's watching the replay who could be doing a peer assessment of the other person with a rubric they get the chance to watch it live then they get the chance to watch it again or maybe more than once via replay depending on how many screens they select and then the final aspect could be that the student who performed the skill gets to come and review their performance and do a self-assessment. So this simple addition of the Chrome Replay app means that uh, it would be very easy to conduct some sort of peer assessment uh, in your PE classroom where students are obviously assessing themselves, assessing one another on certain tasks and using the Replay as a proxy to make that happen. So the great peer and self-assessment can really be taken to the next level when you get the ability for kids to self-assess by watching their own video and by not having to press pause and rewind and, and play, by just having a rolling feedback loop of delayed video, which they can come to at any point and see and, and sort of then go back and perform the skill again and then watch it again and assess themselves. Adds a whole new different dimension to the peer assessment. 
Now, some other features that are part of the Replay It Chrome app, which I think are worth sharing because we've only looked at really some of the basic ones um, that do take, I don't know, 10 seconds to get set up. But these ones might take you about 20 seconds and they are things such as full screen mode. And I really love this feature because if you've set up one screen or two screens or four screens, um, a video feedback, you can just hit the, the full screen button and that will go into full screen mode, which obviously makes it a little bit easier to then focus in a little bit um, more so on specific elements and, you know, therefore get the result that you need. So once you've got the settings set up right, you may as well be in full screen mode so that you can focus on um, the right aspects. The next feature that I, I believe will be used extensively is the multiple screens. Now, multiple screens here, you simply select at the top the number of screens that you want that are delayed. So you can have one, which is the default, or you can have two, or you can have four, and then each of those screens can have a different delay value. So you can have one there that's set for one second and another one set for three seconds or anywhere else in between. And then when you start, you will have two different screens there that you can catch the performance on twice. So in this basketball example here, you can see that um, he'll you know, take a shot and then he'll get back to the device and he'll see the first screen on the left and then he'll get to see it again on the right. So you could potentially watch something more than once. You can go up to four screens and then obviously make that full screen mode and make it a little bit more exciting. The next little feature that I will share with you is the ability to share the screen with a Chromecast. Now, if you're not familiar with a Chromecast, these are really cheap devices. You can pick them up at your electronic stores. You plug it into your TV or your projector, and it gives you the ability to share a Chrome device, such as the Chrome browser or a Chromebook, to this, whatever that's plugged into, and it does it all wirelessly. So to step you through basically how quickly this is to happen on a Chromebook, simply you press the little avatar in the bottom right. Mine's a jellyfish. Yours might be something different. This is only for Chromebook users. And you get this option where it says cast devices available, assuming that you're on the same network where the Chromecast is connected. And then when you select that, you then select which Chromecast you want to select with or work with. If you've got a school environment, you may have more than one, make sure you pick the right one. And then it asks you, well, which screen do you want to send to the Chromecast? And you want to select the replay at sports video delay screen. And then when you've done that, you basically get to do your thing as it appears up on the large screen and you can perform. And it's basically identical to before, but you've just now got it shared up on a large screen. The other option is that you can certainly connect your Chromebook or your laptop, etc., physically to a projector to do the same thing. Um, but obviously, that won't be wireless. So, what's next? Well, the first thing that I will recommend is that you head along to the Chrome Web Store and you download Replay It if you haven't already. If you have, well done. I'm going to be sending over a certificate of completion that outlines the training that you've just gone through here some of the thinking around why it was built and some of the really popular ways coming from a global perspective about how the extension has been used. Now, another thing that you might be interested in is getting access to more training like this. This is just one topic and one aspect of the training that we provide at Connected PE. And if that sounds like something that you might like to do, then you can head along to Connected PE dot com forward slash join and get access to ongoing webinars and training and information that is relevant to PE teachers, not just PE technology, but all areas of technology. Uh, we do things such as webinars. As you can see here, we have an exclusive members forum. We do personalized training that's based on what you've completed before and community spotlights, all sorts of things that help you grow as a teacher and you know we do this monthly every single month we've got new webinars and new experts and new material and this is just a small 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 snapshot of that everything comes with certificates too so over the course of the year you can build up an enormous amount of professional development done in your own time signed with certificates and um, we also have a members only resource library where you can download things such as lesson plans and digital resources and ebooks and lots of different things that are exclusive to members of Connected PE. 
So it's $139 per year. You can have it in a monthly arrangement or you can do it in a yearly arrangement. And um, it's something that also comes with free access to one of our PE Geek workshops across the globe. So thank you. Hopefully you've enjoyed this brief little overview of the Video Delay app that is built purely for Google Chrome called Replay It. It's something that we're looking forward to seeing. As I said, it is 100% free. There's no reason why you can or can't use this in your practice starting tomorrow. Speak soon.